The story begins with a little chunk of metal, lithium, which has become a critical component in batteries powering everything from your cell phone to electric cars. But it's not just any metal, it's the linchpin in the world's transition to green energy, making it an indispensable resource in today's fast-paced technological landscape. China's lithium dominance didn't happen overnight, it's the result of a strategic vision aligned with global trends. With an insatiable appetite for electric vehicles, China has emerged as the world's largest electric car market, accounting for nearly 60% of global electric car sales. This rapid growth in the electric vehicle sector has fueled China's voracious demand for lithium batteries. To put it simply, more electric cars mean more lithium batteries are needed. China understands this better than anyone and aims to maintain its leadership in the electric vehicle market. Lithium is often referred to as the white gold of the electric age. Why? Because it's an essential component in the technologies needed to achieve our climate goals and electrify the world. It's not just about transportation, it's about the entire ecosystem of renewable energy, from wind and solar farms to grid storage systems. China recognized the strategic importance of lithium early on. To secure its position as a global leader in electric vehicles and renewable energy, China made significant investments in its domestic lithium refineries. These refineries are at the heart of lithium processing, converting raw lithium into battery components. China's investment in lithium processing wasn't just about profits, it was also about securing a reliable supply chain. Energy-intensive refining processes and environmental concerns made lithium processing less appealing to other nations. However, China, driven by its desire to electrify transportation and scale up electric vehicles, seized the opportunity and excelled in lithium processing. Today, China processes an astounding 55% of the world's raw lithium. Once the mineral is processed, it can either stay within China or be shipped to other Asian giants like Japan or South Korea to be transformed into battery components. These lithium-ion batteries, containing components processed in China, find their way into countless devices and electric vehicles worldwide, including the United States. In stark contrast to China's dominance, the United States processes very little lithium domestically, relying heavily on China's lithium processing capabilities. This over-reliance poses a strategic vulnerability, one that the U.S. is keen to address. The question now is whether the U.S. can catch up and develop its own lithium supply chain before lithium becomes even more indispensable. As China's lithium investments continue to expand worldwide, the U.S. faces a race against time to secure its access to this critical resource. It's no secret that China's rapid industrialization came with significant environmental challenges. Cities choked with pollution and a growing dependence on fossil fuels pushed China to rethink its approach to transportation. As the world's most populous nation, China understood the pressing need for clean and efficient transportation solutions. The solution? Electric vehicles, or EVs, powered by lithium-ion batteries. In the early stages, Chinese automakers faced skepticism, but their determination was unwavering. The Chinese government played a pivotal role, offering incentives, subsidies, and clear policy directives to promote EV adoption. Today, China boasts the largest electric vehicle market globally, accounting for a staggering 60% of all electric car sales worldwide. It's a statistic that's both remarkable and transformative. Chinese cities have witnessed a proliferation of electric vehicles, from compact urban cars to long-range SUVs and the impact on the environment is tangible, less smog-filled skies, reduced carbon emissions, and improved air quality. China's investment in charging infrastructure has been nothing short of remarkable. Charging stations and battery swapping facilities have popped up across the country, alleviating the range anxiety that has plagued electric vehicle adoption in other nations. But it's not just about everyday commuters. China has ventured into the electric commercial vehicle sector, including electric buses and trucks, making an even more significant impact on emissions reduction. Electric vehicles are not just a trend in China, they're a way of life. The Chinese government's commitment to electric mobility has been steadfast, and it shows no signs of slowing down. As the electric vehicle market continues to expand, so does China's insatiable demand for lithium-ion batteries. Each electric car on the road requires a lithium-ion battery pack, creating an unquenchable thirst for lithium resources. It's no exaggeration to say that lithium has become the lifeblood of China's electric vehicle revolution. The nation's automakers and policymakers understand that a secure supply of lithium is vital to maintaining their leadership in the electric mobility sector. To secure this vital resource, China has made substantial investments in lithium mining projects abroad, particularly in Africa and Latin America. These strategic moves are not just about meeting current demand, they're about ensuring a stable lithium supply for the future. 
In our next segments, we'll delve into the challenges and vulnerabilities China faces in its quest for lithium dominance, as well as how other countries, including the United States, are responding to the lithium race. So, stay tuned for more geopolitics basics. China's strategic investments in lithium mines abroad, particularly in Africa and Latin America, are a testament to its commitment to securing a stable lithium supply chain. But these bold moves come with their fair share of risks. One significant challenge lies in the political landscape of the nations where China is investing. Many of these developing countries have historically experienced political instability, making long-term investments a precarious proposition. Unstable political regimes can lead to uncertainties for Chinese investors. Shifts in leadership or sudden policy changes may impact the continuity of these lithium mining projects. Additionally, these developing nations often lack the necessary infrastructure required for successful mining operations. Roads, power supply, and facilities are essential for extracting and processing lithium efficiently. If China wishes to maintain control over these lithium mines, it will need to invest not only in mining but also in building the infrastructure required for the extraction and transportation of raw lithium. Furthermore, resource nationalism is another factor that could impact China's lithium investments. Many of these developing countries are increasingly aware of the value of their natural resources, including lithium. Instead of exporting raw lithium, some nations are considering the establishment of value-added industries within their borders. They seek to process lithium locally and even produce their own lithium-ion batteries, creating more significant economic value. While this vision aligns with the desire for economic development and job creation, it poses challenges for Chinese investors who may find themselves facing tighter restrictions or competition from local industries. Moreover, diplomatic tensions could arise if host countries perceive that Chinese companies are extracting their resources without adequate local benefits. In the next segments, we'll explore how other nations are responding to China's lithium moves, the impact on global lithium prices, and the United States' efforts to build its own lithium supply chain. The story begins with a crucial realization, the US cannot afford to remain overly reliant on China for its lithium needs. Lithium is an essential component for a wide range of technologies, including electric vehicles and renewable energy storage. Recognizing this strategic vulnerability, the United States has embarked on a mission to secure its own lithium supply and reduce its dependence on foreign sources. The Inflation Reduction Act, coupled with growing demand for green energy sources, has spurred the U.S. into action. To incentivize domestic lithium production, the Act offers tax credits and green energy subsidies that reduce the cost of producing lithium by up to 10 percent. This financial encouragement has enticed American companies to invest in lithium mining projects within the country. The goal is clear, to build a robust and self-sustaining lithium supply chain that aligns with the nation's energy and environmental goals. ExxonMobil, a major player in the energy sector, has announced ambitious plans to enter the lithium market. They are building one of the world's largest lithium processing facilities in Arkansas, a project that, when completed, is predicted to produce between 75,000 to 100,000 metric tons of lithium annually. This facility could account for up to 15% of all finished lithium products globally, signaling the U.S.'s determination to secure a substantial share of the lithium market. However, building a domestic lithium supply chain is not without its challenges. Many of these lithium extraction plants are still in the planning or construction phase, with considerable time and investment required to make them operational. The U.S. lithium mining landscape was virtually dormant in the 20th century as companies found cheaper methods to obtain lithium from South American salt lakes. This historical gap in lithium mining and refining left the U.S. with a significant catch-up task. Despite these challenges, the U.S. is determined to secure its lithium future. The nation recognizes the strategic importance of lithium in achieving its decarbonization and renewable energy goals. With the Inflation Reduction Act providing critical financial support, American companies are ramping up their investments in lithium mining and refining. The United States is committed to building a resilient lithium supply chain that ensures stability, supports domestic industries, and aligns with the global shift towards sustainable energy sources. In the next segments, we'll examine the global impact of these developments, how China perceives the U.S. efforts, and the future of the lithium race on the world stage. Lithium is the beating heart of modern technology, driving the growth of electric vehicles, renewable energy, and grid storage. Its importance cannot be overstated, making the race for lithium dominance a high-stakes global competition. One of the challenges that countries face is the uneven distribution of lithium resources. 
While lithium is abundant globally, it's often difficult and expensive to extract. This means that only a handful of nations possess economically viable lithium deposits. Historically, lithium extraction has been concentrated in South American salt lakes and, more recently, Australian mines. This geographical concentration poses supply chain vulnerabilities, especially for countries that heavily rely on imports. This concentration of lithium resources has led to heightened competition for access to these reserves, driving up global lithium prices. In August, lithium prices surged by approximately 300% compared to the beginning of the year. As demand for lithium continues to soar, the competition for access to lithium-rich regions intensifies. Governments, corporations, and investors are all eager to secure a piece of the lithium pie. China, with its dominant position in lithium processing and significant investments in mining projects abroad, remains a key player in the lithium race. However, its strategy is not without vulnerabilities. China's reliance on foreign countries for a substantial portion of its raw lithium, including some US allies, poses a potential risk. Diplomatic tensions or changes in global dynamics could impact China's lithium supply chain. Some experts believe that China's investments in Africa and Latin America are not just about meeting current demand but also about securing a stable lithium supply for the long term. This approach could mitigate risks associated with external dependencies. Meanwhile, other nations are taking note of the lithium race and are developing their strategies. The United States, in particular, is increasing efforts to build a domestic lithium supply chain to reduce its reliance on China. With incentives like tax credits and green energy subsidies, American companies are accelerating their investments in lithium mining and refining projects. ExxonMobil's ambitious plans for a large lithium processing facility in Arkansas are a testament to this commitment. The catch, however, is that many of these lithium extraction plants are still in the planning or construction phase, and it will take time for them to become fully operational. In summary, the global race for lithium dominance is rife with challenges and uncertainties. The uneven distribution of lithium resources, competition for access, and supply chain vulnerabilities continue to shape this high-stakes game. As the world accelerates its transition to green energy and electric mobility, the importance of lithium in achieving these goals cannot be overstated. Nations and corporations alike are vying for control of this critical resource, and the stakes are higher than ever. Join us for our next episode as we further explore the complex world of geopolitics. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more geopolitics basics. We'll be back soon with further analysis of the dynamic world of geopolitics and resources.